Yeah. So uh, before winding up, uh, I want to ask sir, something regarding Cyprus. Last not regarding Cyprus. That is uh, 1993. From 1993 to 2001, I think you was in the Cyprus. Could you give a brief uh, description about the, the life at that time in Cyprus? Well, I consider that my best years of service in the church from a personal perspective, because it was um, returning home and returning um, not to the village where I grew up, but to Cyprus in the north, uh, southern part, and, um, and living among the people of, uh, of God in Cyprus, um, who are now being affected by tourism from Europe and America, and um, Western culture in general, and especially the American movie culture, the Hollywood culture, and uh, uh, and that was that was really a for me it was a kind of a, a wake up call of what was happening in the world and how people were being affected. Uh, when I left Cyprus, the uh, the effect of uh, Hollywood on Cyprus was minimal. Now everybody has big screen TVs. Um, there are many channels, uh, uh, TV channels. All the American movies and European movies are shown everywhere. Um, and then there are thousands, millions of tourists from Europe who spend a lot of time on the island in the summer, especially, who bring their own uh, ideologies, and culture, and behaviors. And so... It was really a challenging time for me to kind of uh, come to terms with the fact that my own country, the Orthodox Cyprus, was being changed by Western culture and ideologies. And um, I fought very <laughs> strongly to uh, convince people to not accept what they were getting from Europe and America, but to critically look at it carefully and uh, uh, and reject those things which are contrary to our faith, and contrary to our own understanding of life. And uh, to this day, uh, I have, um, uh, you know, communication with people from Cyprus that used to be in my parish, who have followed the, the direction and, and they're trying to live a better life. And... Um, Anyway, it was really a great time for me because it gave me an opportunity to look at the world from a different perspective after seeing Cyprus in its early, uh, early years, seeing America and experiencing and being educated in America and then returning. Uh, so it was really a great experience. And then when I came back to America, I brought back again that reassurance that the faith exists and is strong and there are people who are holy everywhere and um, and what we experience here in America perhaps is not necessarily the only thing that's happening in the world. So, uh, yeah, and I'm still encouraged that God is working in the lives of people, uh, creating saints around the world, because those who love him will receive his gifts.